In these days, along with the process of globalization and modernization, international cuisine pervades Vietnamese market much more stronger and faster. So far, it has received enthusiastic response from Vietnamese people and especially the youth. To fulfill the upward demands, plenty of foreign restaurants has appeared and become a new trend in the eating behavior of Vietnamese. And among that, fast food wave is the most significant to see. So the question is, is there any likelihood that Vietnam will be McDonaldization in the future? Fast food restaurant entered Vietnam 20 years ago, but when we talk about the explosion of it, the period of 2010 and 2015 must be mentioned. In order to meet the rising demand of fast food, hundreds of fast food stores from many huge global brands was opened. There are two main reasons behind the fast food craze in Vietnam. First, in general, the bias on fast food can be explained by a scientific way. Junk food stimulates the reward system in human brain in the same way as abusive drugs like cocaine. This reward encourages susceptible individuals to eat more unhealthy food. On the other angle, unlike in foreign countries where people choose fat food for its convenience and cheap, most of Vietnamese consider that going to fast food restaurant is kind of fancy way to have a meal. The reason for this behavior is when you compare the average series of Vietnamese people, which is just nearly $4.7 per day, you can see that an average meal in McDonald's will approximately cost them a day of working. But for people who are under strong influence of consumerism, they even feel more enjoyable than ever when paying for it. The most apparent evidence for this fast food craze in Vietnam is shown in 2017, when Vietnamese youngster queued in line for hours to grab some Big Mac during the first grand opening of McDonald's in Hanoi. The penetration of fast food from Western country to Vietnam seems to have negative impact and bring many consequences. Vietnamese cuisine is considered as one of the healthiest food in the world. However, during the McDonaldization period, Obesity rates of Vietnamese, especially the children, is under an alarming condition. Globally, the development in the fast food industry may threaten the traditional cuisine by the way it changed Vietnamese eating habit. However, it is not an exaggeration to say that there is no any chain for fast food to replace the unique positions of Vietnamese cuisine in Vietnamese mind. In fact, many Western franchises in Vietnam have failed to expand the chains in the market. The data has shown that Burger King invests $40 million to expand its chain, but it is still grappling to gain a foothold in Vietnam. McDonald's has targeted 100 restaurants after 10 years in the country, but it still has only a few in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi. The situation might seem barely understandable for outsiders, but as a Vietnamese, it won't be difficult to understand why Western fast food chain flopped in Vietnam. Firstly, when it comes to culture, Vietnam is known for a great story of street food, which is a formidable viral for international fast food chains wanting to enter this country. If you're riding and feel hungry, you just need to park your bike off the street, and there is a high chain that it will be some food store around. The whole transaction is really quick. You come in, order food, eat, and since the store is right on the pavement, you can grab your bike immediately and resume your ride. This undermines fast food advertised time-saving advantage since street food is take even less time. Second, there is more to choose from than Burger King or McDonald's can offer. For example, for some light, there is tofu or sweet soup, while chicken rice or noodles will serve well for lunch or dinner. Besides that, there are myriad of other kinds of cakes, juice, grilled meat, fruits along the street that promise to capture almost anyone's taste and they definitely cost less than foreign restaurants outside. But the price isn't a big part of the answer to Burger King and McDonald's failure in Vietnam. What is more important is the different experience that fast food restaurants and street food stalls offer. Vietnamese people love to talk and share, and eating for them is to meet both their biological demand and their need to socialize. The setting of most fast food restaurants and the mechanized characteristic of how food is made and served there barely allow for any interaction between customers and sellers, as well as among the customers themselves. 
whereas with street food, you get to blend into the surroundings, you become part of the place. You get to add the seller to adjust the food to suit the taste, or even have a small talk with them. As you eat, you also talk, laugh, share food, and watch people pass by on the street. Real chef Anthony Borden once wrote, You don't have to go looking for great food in Vietnam. Great food finds you. It's everywhere. In restaurant, coffee, little storefront in street, carrot in makeshift portable kitchens on your phone by women vendors. The history of Vietnam provides some reassurance too. Although Vietnam had been dominated for hundreds of years by different foreign empires, including China, Japan, French, America, Vietnamese culture basically was strong enough to absorb the quintessence of international but still maintain the uniqueness of original culture. The most apparent evidence for this statement can be shown by just looking at the rich variety of Vietnamese food cuisine. Many Vietnamese dishes have foreign origins, such as bánh mì for bought by the French in the early 19th century, caramelized pork, sweet soup from Chinese, or salad from European origin. Nevertheless, Vietnam transformed and adjusted the ingredients and spice of this food in order to suit with Vietnamese taste. Most of it even end up to be outstanding tasty and become a signature food of Vietnamese cuisine. Undeniably, these combinations has made Vietnamese cuisine become diverse and more attractive. Based on the country's previous experience with globalization, it is really hard to believe that fatty American-style fat food can have many opportunities to develop in Vietnam. In the end, it can be confirmed that the penetration of foreign cuisine, especially fast food culture, is an essential part which demonstrates the modernizations and globalizations of country. However, keeping and maintaining the cuisine culture of a country is like holding the cultural identity of that nation, something Vietnamese is doing well so far. So delicious. I feel like an animal. Where have you been all my life? Fellow travelers, this is what you want. This is what you need. This is the path to true happiness and wisdom.